<laughs> all right. Today is just a little tour of the Eon Mall, the electronic store, the arcade. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. There's Eon Mall right there, and we will be there soon. So you can see the cars. They look different uh, than the ones in America. Of course, for the Japanese cars, you see some similarities like the Toyota. But obviously Toyota in and of itself has different models in Japan that are not present in America. And here is the Japanese pharmacy. You can see that's definitely different than the American pharmacies. At least the kind that you will find in the stores. Here's Aeon where we'll be touring the whole mall, at least most of it. There's Uniqlo, very popular in America. And most of all the electronic store. And we will also be exploring the restaurants upstairs and downstairs, the arcades, and just a little bit of the shopping area in general. Here is the restaurant area downstairs. Starbucks coffee. Some people think that Starbucks may not be in Japan, but here's the proof it definitely is. It's really good. There's Subway, eat fresh. Now, the Japanese malls are a little different from the American malls because I come from there, or maybe the European malls, but overall, the inside malls are pretty similar to most inside malls. Of course, even in different countries, there are varieties within the countries. But you will see subtle differences just based on the fact that it is in Japan and it's their culture. And there is Uniqlo. Uh, they did a pretty good job branching out in the States. Um, I first saw them in Santa Monica, so I figured it was a Japanese company. We are hitting upstairs. Detective Conan came out in spring 2018. I did see it in another theater, but it is playing in this theater inside this mall. Oh, and here's the vending machine, a very common way to buy drinks all over Japan. Fila, 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 Fila. Look at all the brands, Nike, Marvel, and some sunglasses. I meant to buy some sunglasses. But seriously, look at all the bags. All the accessories you can buy pretty much anything you want here uh, they have a little bit of everything DVD CDs music videos books mp3 players uh, phone accessories cords you name it it's like an all-in-one store or maybe a better term is a little bit of everything store You can even see face masks, branded, DC, Marvel, you name it. And look at that, music videos, CDs, manga. Manga is the biggest form of entertainment in Japan. Now the varieties are huge. It really just comes down to what you're into. 
What genre do you like? And there's Totoro, one of the most famous characters, period. And this is a store named Village Vanguard. And here is the electronic store, the last but not the last, the first but not the first. I have no idea what I'm saying, but let's go in. And here is South Bank, the Japanese company who purchased Sprint. Does anyone know the name of this group? Comment below. It looks like this light is being powered by solar energy. Pretty good for emergencies. iRobot. I'm not sure if it's a Japanese company or not, but it is pretty popular in America and pretty much runs itself. Perfect for those who have a very tight schedule. Look at that, vacuums everywhere, every housewife's dream. And can anyone guess this actor? Comment below. Got sewing machines. Got a washing machine. Is that a washing machine or a trash can? You can't really tell. It looks cool. Refrigerator, nice size. Now these are washing machines for sure. Most of these appliances are pretty big uh, compared to most of Parto's in Japan. They can be pretty spacey. So, of course, if you have a good career, have a mansion or a house, have a wife, kid, you'll most likely get one of these. Of course, definitions can be different in Japan compared to the West. A mansion is a bigger sized apartment in Japan with better city codes compared to an Parto, which is just a smaller apartment. And a house to clarify is just a house. Does anyone know the name of this group, the most popular in Japan? This is my dream right here. Of course, there are all kinds of massages available. The ones I experienced before were a little harsh, but there are soft ones out there. You just have to find them. anyone guess this actress's name? Comment below. Sony TV, the best of the best. But seriously, anyone? Now I never knew the name of these personalities, but if you do, comment below.
Got some tennis on, one of my favorite sports. Portable DVD players are still common in Japan compared to the West where streaming is more commonplace. Most people read manga or books on their phone and just as commonly if not more use physical copies. Of course there are streaming services available you may see a girl watching dramas on her phone but it's just not as common as gaming. The piano sounds really good. Yeah, it's and now for a special music performance game break. Can you guess this soundtrack? What makes the electronic store so perfect is many of the brands in the West are similar to the brands in Asia. So even if you're in China or Korea, Japan, you will find similar items that are both in the US for example and uh, Japan. Of course Japan has its own versions of those devices or they may have uh, special brands for their own country. But overall, you will see familiarity within the overall umbrella of electronics. 
Can anyone guess the singer? She debuted in 1998. Best selling pretty much the biggest artist in Japan. Please comment below. In Japan, there are so many varieties of laptops. You can see all the different brands that you may already know and maybe some new ones you may not be as familiar with. Moving on from the electronics store, we are now at the Aeon Movie Theaters in the mall. This mall movie is pretty good. Good popcorn, I heard their popcorn is uh, pretty good. Uh, different flavors compared to the West. They even have Japanese style flavors. So I highly recommend trying the Japanese popcorn and seeing all the Japanese movies that you may not normally see in theaters. And this is the ticket area where you purchase your tickets using the machine. It's actually pretty easy for foreigners, not too hard. I think it has English. But even if it doesn't, still simple. And here's the arcade again. It's another arcade compared to the last video. Another city, same prefecture. Does anyone know that character? You can see the variety of games here. It is a lot of fun. You got basketball, arcades, uh, poncho, horse races, anything you want. Racing games, even the popular picture booths. Very popular among females mostly. These are, well I call them at least, the ball machines. You get points depending on where the ball goes. It's very popular and big in Japan. So I highly recommend checking it out if you're into that kind of thing. Mario! Yes, and they also have slot machines. Just like Vegas, only you won't win as much money or lose much money. Actually, yeah, you're losing a lot of money. Initial D, the biggest racing anime of all times. Highly recommend this anime to anyone who's into cars. Period. To spend all day here. Of course, this anime started way earlier on, over 10 years ago, maybe in the early 2000s, late 90s. Uh, I believe associated with Tokyo Pop. So, uh, yes, it was a manga first, and like all mangas become animes, and this one has really exploded both in the US and Japan, all over Europe, all over Asia. See, this is a very common place for young people to pick up souvenirs and also just characters, action figures, uh, sometimes purses, sometimes uh, just your favorite character, collector's items. Uh, this is a charger, headphones, Disney items, huge in Japan. And here's a girl recording herself beating her own record. Uh, she's probably recording it for social media. Pretty trendy activity in Japan.
this game right here is actually pretty fun. I admit, I <laughs> have the girlfriend waiting for him. Oh, look, and there is Sonic and Mario together. It looks like a racing game. I'd like to try it one day. And here's the basketball game. I did try it. Now, I didn't do it very well because I haven't been playing in a long time, but this is the record currently held. 621. Hopefully, I can come back and beat it. Let's hope I have enough change. Leaving the Taito Station. That's the name of the arcade. Finally got some change. And the spring uniform mannequins, modeling uniforms for spring. As you can see, overall this mall is pretty normal, as the normal shops, jewelry. And we are in the food area. There are two actually, upstairs and downstairs. So we are in the downstairs area, and it's pretty good looking, I admit. Nani? Very stylish, unlike the indoor malls in America. Of course, in America, there are different quality malls. Ooh, but look at the dessert. Well, that's it for this tour. Thank you for watching Cultures Explored Episode 2. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, share, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next time, everybody. This is where I'm staying. Somewhere around here.